There's so much instruction content out there about how to move the club head and how to move the handle. But how about how to move your body? Learning how to move your body is one of the biggest unlocks to hitting better quality golf shots that go way further than they otherwise could. Let me show you how. One of the biggest problems we see is a person setting up inaccurately, not removing the impediment, which is just bad body orientation at a dress. So often I see right arm high, right shoulder high, hips shifted to the right. If this is you, you're dead from the start. You're dead in the water, so to speak. If you set up with your hips too far to the right, your shoulders too far tipped to the left, your right arm high, you won't be able to rotate behind the golf ball. All you'll be limited to doing is hitting steep, pull cut slices that go shorter than they otherwise should or could. So um, the first place to look to unlock more power in your golf shots, to change that slice into maybe a softer fade or even potentially a draw is how you set up to the golf ball. So let me take you through that at first. So we got problem, which is set up. Now here's the solution, which is how to create a nice, clean, well-oriented setup. I want you to take your club. I want you to hold it against your sternum. It should point back between your feet. Then I want you to shift your hips an inch to the left as you tilt your shoulders, a slight amount to the right. What amount? The amount that points the club head to the inside of your lead foot, your lead ankle there. When you're set up in this way, club head pointing back between your feet, you've hinged your hips properly. When you've then tilted to the right, you've set your body up in a place where it's predisposed to rotating properly. Now, as far as the stance width is concerned, it's dependent upon the club you're hitting. I'm hitting a six iron here, so it's roughly shoulder width apart. Yes, it can be wider than that as you get longer clubs, and yes, it can be narrower than that as you get shorter clubs. Now we get into the movement solution. So let's start with a problem first. What do I see? I see too many players that trigger motion with hips swaying to the right rather than withdrawing or rotating behind them, and or some associated increase in left side bend where their shoulder goes down towards the golf ball from a face on camera, their right shoulder is therefore very shallow or very visible to the camera, and they're not rotated deep enough. From this place, all they're gonna be doing is swinging the club steeply back to impact, creating divots that travel across target line, then hitting that crop duster slice. So what we have to have is a way to see, cue, and feel more rotation of the hip, and a proper rotation at the shoulders or moreover, the barrel that is your rib cage, right? So that's where we can aid by using an alignment rod. Uh, fiberglass rod, you can get this at your local hardware store. I want you to take it and I want you to slide it through the sleeves of your shirt. Yes, it'll take some navigating to slide it on through nice and smoothly. But once it's up in there, it serves as a great visual reference for the amount of barrel or ribcage rotation, as well as the angle of that rotation. If all I do is I start my swing with hip sway and left side bend, when I'm looking down right now, the lead end of the stick is aimed right about here, to the left of the golf ball that I'm trying to strike. It's to the left of the golf ball I'm trying to strike, and it's angled only about six inches out in front of the golf ball. Conversely, what I'd like to do is I'd like to see the stick move much more level to the ground, almost like it's pointing at a golf ball out here adjacent to my bag, some four or five feet away from me. That tells me a story of my ribcage rotation being at a nice inclination to the ground that's not too steep, but not too flat. And in addition to that, I wanna feel, I wanna be able to see, I should say, that this stick has rotated all the way across to point to my golf bag. My golf bag is just to the right of where I'm standing here. That tells me a story of two things again, the amount that I've rotated and the angle of that rotation. Now, all the while, I wanna feel as well, as well, that I'm not swaying to the right. A really good way to feel this is make practice swings with your club head on the inside of your back foot and the shaft on the outside of your knee, outside of your hip. When I've positioned this club to the right of my back leg, I have, I've created this constraint, this barrier, that if I at all sway my pelvis to the right, I start to feel my leg pushing my shaft further to the right. Rather, I want to move my hip away from that grip as I'm moving my shoulder 
more level to the ground, across behind the ball. Now how this looks in live fire after rehearsing it is like this. So if we can learn to position our body at address more correctly, where we've, we've unlocked it, we've removed that impediment um, to good rotational motion. And then we can use an alignment rod and our club, as I've just indicated, to help us train better body motions in the swing. It's bound to unlock better shots for you.